Hey guys, I want to show you how A, I charge my iPhone 6. I just plug it in, right? Just plug it in, now it's, now it's charging. And secondly, I wanted to show you how I uh, use it to tether. So this is Arch Linux. This is my iPhone. How do I tether? As you can see, I, uh, I just go to a personal hotspot, trigger that on. And boom, I have a new interface. And you can see I've got an IP of uh, 172.20.10.2, and I'm on the internet. Let me just ping google.com. Oops, let me, it's a bit strange for the computer. Uh, 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 uh. I'm on the internet. Awesome, hey? Well, if, yeah, okay, Google's a bit funny nowadays. 888888 is probably better. Okay. That's how I tether with my iPhone 6S on Arch Linux. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, guys, another thing you might not realize about Arch Linux and uh, the iPhone is that it's really easy to get the images off. So let me just take a picture of myself. Hiya. Hi, guys. And um, I'm going to now mount the, um, the, f the sort of fuse file system. And uh, basically, all the images will now be uh, somewhere here, right? Boop. So my permissions are all messed up, probably. They're there, trust me. So I have a script um, which sort of downloads them off that directory. I have to... Um, um, hmm. So um, the script uses XF2 to keep the uh, to, to move or well, to copy the uh, files in like a date prefixed directory. That's how I organize all my media. Uh, year 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 dash month month dash day day, um, and it does the same thing for MOV files. Um, in my script, it should convert the MOV files to MP4s, but I ha I'm not doing it currently because um, MOV files are nasty to work with. You want to work with MP4, and it's just a simple FFmpeg thing. So um, what's the day today? See, it's bringing in stuff from yesterday. Today is the 1st of May. I should be able to show you. Um, okay, now it's copying the... Uh, okay, right, whatever. Right. So if I... Come on. Come on, computers. Sorry, I got some sort of strange thing going on here. That should be, that should be, yeah, that's the picture I took, right? So once again, iPhone and Arch Linux working great together. Awesome. Hey guys, while I have you here, to get everything working with Arch Linux, you just need these three packages. It's explained somewhere on the Arch Linux wiki, USB, MuxD, Libi, mobile device, iFuse. So that gets tethering working. And here's another tip I, uh, for you guys. I use StarHub out here in Singapore, and I figured out how to get the sort of exact amount of my bandwidth I'm taking. I, I'm, I've, I've been allocated three gigabytes. If I go over three gigabytes a month, I get charged quite ridiculously just for going for a few bytes over like 10 bucks. So um, this, this helps me keep track of how much bandwidth I'm using while I'm tethering. It's just a sort of a easy to type in URL for me. And the way I do that is using a script here. And in this script, ooh, oh my gosh, it was really complicated. I, I basically sat in uh, DevTools and uh, on the StarHub website to figure this all out. Um, it's a very complicated website whereby they first authenticate you with a cookie and then after that they somehow set uh, on the basis of the cookie an authorization header and I only found this out through the DevTools initiator thing but anyway as you can see it's a bit messy but this is the way I figure out uh, how much bandwidth I'm using with StarHub and uh, maybe uh, if you ask nicely I'll tell you how I did it um, but my tip is look at the initiator of um, the JavaScript uh, call um, in the network tab and that should give you a good clue of uh, where to start okay Cool. That's how you do it, guys. See ya.